So the other day I was playing through Sonic 2. I was running out of lives by the time I got to Metropolis. Like an idiot, I died twice on this boss. And I carelessly ran through that bunch of six rings right there. So I came in here with zero, zero rings and one life. I was thinking, oh my god, like I cannot hit this boss without taking a hit. And uh, my life flashed before my eyes. Even though I had to continue, I was just imagining having to play through all three acts of Metropolis all over again. And then this idea hit me. Instead of just going all out, seeing if I can hit the boss without getting hit, just get lucky, what happens if I just wait? And it seemed really strange. I was thinking, oh, this boss is just going to go back and forth um, to... I don't know, spin, spin these uh, things around him, and it's just going to be uneventful, and I'm just going to basically have to tank it at some point and, and hope for the best. But no, um, this happens. Um, it goes into this crazy pattern, and, <laughs> and and then like the rings or the balls, whatever you want to, whatever those are around him, um, they get. Um, they get into such a formation that they're actually basically horizontal, and you can hit them really easily. Um, this is something I never knew, and uh, after years of playing this game, uh, it's kind of interesting that I found about these little things. Uh, I'm sure lots of people know about this. Uh, it's not exactly a hidden mechanic or anything, it's you just have to wait a little bit. but. I think chances are that a lot of people just ran to this boss kind of expecting to hit him a bunch of times. Probably they also had tails which may have been able to get a couple hits in. By the time it gets to one ball it's like, you know, you can hit it pretty easily. Even two balls isn't too much of a challenge. Um, this is clearly the superior way to fight him, you know, waiting about, I think like two in-game minutes at least. Actually, I think it's more. Uh, this is a little more... You, you probably know this. If you don't hit on the last hit, he'll just start firing lasers. It's not exactly difficult to find. That one's particularly easy, because the chances are he's not going to be low enough for you to hit him before he he's about to fire his first laser. So if you're not quick enough, you'll see that. And in all seriousness... Uh, I think it's crazy that I go through this game finding a couple things that I just had no idea existed. Uh, like I even had to take an alternate path through Metropolis 3 just to record this footage, and uh, I went through a path that I never went before. I didn't even know it existed, um, so I usually take another path that's easier for me. And there was a particularly dickishly placed slicer, but... Uh, aside from that, it's it's interesting that I'm still finding out little things like this that I'm sure people know about uh, for years. Especially people who've played the game for way longer than I have. So, yeah. I don't know, I just thought that was vaguely interesting that I never actually knew that. 